गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर प्रकाश रोकड़े टुडे वी विल लर्न सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइनिंग एंड मॉडल यूनिट नंबर थ्री इंटरेक्शन एंड बिहेवियरल मॉडलिंग इन इट द वेरी फर्स्ट डायग्राम इज द एक्टिविटी डायग्राम एक्टिविटी डायग्राम डिस्क्राइब्स the dynamic aspect of the system it is basically a flow chart to represent the flow from one activity to another activity the activity can be described as an operation of the system the control flow is drawn from one operation to another this flow can be sequential branch or concurrent activity diagram deals with all types of flow control by using different elements such as fork join etc this activity diagram is used to develop the executable system by using forward and reverse engineering techniques in this diagram the messages are passed between one activity to another activity now see this is the diagram for activity you can see here uh, initially here is the start you can see here the start it is a precondition then control flow by arrow it is called as uh, action input then actual activity in step 1 this is the system step and next here you can see the alternative or extension flow it is also called as loop then uh, basic flow simple line then returning alternative flow that is there step 3 is there then fork is there finally join is there parallel activity c after forking here he real for forking this is the fork and final at the end join is there parallel operations in step 4.1 and 4.2 we can show and finally post condition that is nothing but your stop is there next point is activity and action activities are nothing but the functions or operations performed by system for example login process order print order place order actions can be smallest functional unit within an activity action represent a single atomic step within activity for example we login that is the login activity entering username entering password can be action now see here activity is given and action is also shown now we we'll see next line next layer you know uh, topic that is the initial and final activity now see this is initial and final activity for both sign is same but for initial activity as it is initialized control flow is to the next step and from the control flow to the end that control flow is different the starting state before an activity takes place is depicted using the initial node now see the following figure a black filled circle is used to show initial node of a system for example here is the initial node that is the state of the system before application is open now next is the description it says that if there are more than one initial node a control token is placed in each initial node when the activity started initial multiple flows if an initial node has more than one outgoing edge only one of these edges will receive control now final activity node see here final activity you can see this is your final activity and uh, what it says it says that a a filled circle within a circle notation is used to represent the final activity node 
in an activity diagram for example a system the flow or process ends in the final activity node an activity diagram can have multiple final activity nodes final node represents a final or terminal state on an activity diagram final node is represented by a bull's eye next is your activity edge here the activity edge are used to connect activities which are in a flow they are directed connections between two activities there are two types of edges in an activity diagram control flow object flow now see control flow it shows or depicts the flow of control through activity now here fill order and then next activity is the ship order so this is the control flow and object flow here you can see the object flow from one object to other then again next so create order uh, object in state that is the order open dispatch order order dispatch so using this object flow in the activity diagram can be shown now next is your decision and merge points now see decision node can be represented as follows here is the diamond where true or false yes or no present absent like where decision has to be taken then this particular decision node is used so guard x and guard y these are the two decisions made here it routes the flow to one of the outgoing edges depending upon the conditions specified at the decision node guards are specified on the outgoing edges merge node can be represented by following notations see to incomings come to a particular diamond it is also called as merge so for merging also this diamond is used it brings together multiple alternative flows all controls and data arriving at a merge node are immediately passed to the outgoing edge with the good example we see it now see this is a good example of decision and merge node so initial is here then uh, process mail diagram is this get mail and if mail is keyword or it's a junk if keyword then open mail if it is a junk or gar condition bin mail then merge node and finally your end so this is the good use of decision and merge node next is your fork and join now fork node splits flows into multiple concurrent flows fork node models parallelism in the system the activities which are executed in parallel can be represented with the help of fork node after shows only one outgoing incoming edge and multiple outgoing edges so here that example is shown and join node synchronizes multiple flows it shows multiple incoming edges and a single outgoing edge now with the example we'll see it now see here fork and join so again your uh, product process is there initial is there design new product is there when forking this parallel operations market product and manufacture product we can see then joining is there and finally sale product is there and at the last your stop is there now here in the next input and output pins also can be shown in the activity diagram actions can have input and outputs through the pins it holds input to action until the action starts and hold the outputs of action before the values moves downstream the name of the pin is not restricted generally recalls the type of objects or data that flow through the pin so output pin you can see here and input pin also you can see here next is your activity group and partitions partition divide the nodes and edges for identifying action that have some characteristics in common 
they often correspond to organizational units in a business model partitions can be hierarchical and multidimensional activity partition may be shown using a swimlane notation with two usually parallel lines either horizontal or vertical and a name labeling the partition in a box at one end any activity node that is action and edges placed between these lines are considered to be contained within the partition now see this is the diagram you can show see that they can be represented horizontally or vertically as shown in this particular figure now here is a partition using hierarchical and here in the next partition using multi dimensional hierarchical swim lane notation next is your constant and action constants can be attached to an action pre and post condition can be referred to an activity or to an action uml intentionally does not specify when or whether pre post conditions tested uml also does not define what the run time effect of a failed pre or post condition should be this following diagram shows an action with local pre and post condition see you can see here pre and post condition so it is showing this particular what constant is there name is there and then constant and here here drink name then uh, dispense drink and uh, again drink here drink selected is low calorie drink dispense is low calories using this pre and post condition is a uh, shown now here i declare that your active diagram is completed in the next lecture we will see our next diagram that is straight machine diagram thank you very much